Nice, got the double Selena Harpies. Okay, got a little bit of carryover. Actually, hand's fairly okay. Uh, I'm gonna ditch the Peller. Definitely don't need you. We got a lot of eating here. Okay, okay. So that was already a mistake. Quick play there with Slizzard in retrospect. That way I can float whichever one I want. Because I can steal this if I'm smart about it. The only good dwarf is a dead dwarf. Then again, do I want to? Maybe it's not a mistake, actually. Like the downside to stealing it is Marin is really strong later on. Ooh, that's a weird one. That indicates to me like harmony or hardcore symbiosis. All right, catching up. Uh, Siegfried, I'll send Siegfried. You could do that. I don't know if I could Siegfried. I mean, I guess you could Siegfried just to uh, get all your people back, all of the people back. Man, that is so effective. Spit it out already. I don't have all day. All right, they should pass. I'll pass. I'll play a uh, succubus and go to a long round. Hmm. Love your t-shirt. Thank you. Thank you. I decided, you know, on days where things are going bad and, and again, I'm having a bad day. I try to try to give as many little like upticks and like attitude the positives that I can generate. Okay. So I imagine if you're running bountiful harvest of a simless here, you have. Hmm. Oh, stop gurgling like that. Wait, was there two played? Oh, there's two. Okay. It just kind of didn't show both of them. Did they pass? I don't know. We're going to find out. I might end up passing here. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass here. Oh. There was a play I should have respected as well as Yaga E the four here. But I really want Yaga for the long round here. Without which is Sabbath in the end or Near Mancy. Uh, play for the long. Sabbath might end up being... Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's normal. I thought you already got ahead in points. Uh, no. Oh, they were clicking everything. That's why. But okay. Oh, on days where you're feeling bad, try to just create a lot of little good positives. For example, last night worked out really convenient, conveniently. Usually when things are really bad or I'm really burnt out, I like that. Those are the moments where I go and get a pint of ice cream. And while that wasn't quite what happened, I still went out and got a pint of ice cream, which was lovely. A good pint of ice cream too. I would not. It would not surprise me if they bleed here. I would honestly go as far as to expect it. Nope. All right. Well, we get succubus. Do I want Dodo Loker or succubus? Well, I can't activate Dodo Loker if I play it. I'll, so I'll just play succubus for now. Then give me more options later. Be happy with pine ice cream. Indeed. It kind of worked out because I, I ended up getting ice cream and then I found out the bad news. So I was like, well, I also got my favorite drink in the world, which is non-alcoholic, zero, zero alcohol, just normal everyday apple cider. I love apple cider. And so I'm like, well, I went out and got that. That was very lovely. Hmm. Hmm. Neat. Okay. I think, I think you want to come out blazing pretty hard here. So the other line of play was plays a desert banshee. So they play very passively here. Great. So that works out fine. I can't actually kill that. We really do anything to it. But later on, I might get some serious value because of it. Just gonna get down my desert banshees. And the reason I'll get uh, I missed cave troll though. That's a bummer. It, it makes Yaga very vulnerable here. Ooh, that's depressing. Okay. Well.
What you playing, Ben Stefani? I'm playing, playing a little bit of uh, Succubus and Friends. Hmm, okay. What am I at right now in back row? Hmm. Not too bad. So if they play a four, we have a shot. Uh, yeah, I love apple cider. Mushy, mushy is for Selena Harpies running too, because they're actually some of the better bonded units in the game. They pay off a harpy egg, and harpy egg's a high payoff. Tis mine. I was born. I shall die. I'm just a sexy little hog and fucked up machine called life. Yeah. Have you played any four provision unit? There we go. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. They're like, are you serious? I'm like, yep. All of a sudden, they're like, Hamadryad, we are, I report we are not buffing Hamadryads anymore. And I'm like, are you sure? You don't want to buff the Hamas? Okay, bountiful. Yes, it's kind of working out. Um, obvious. I mean, I'm sure it should be working out. I'll eat that. Oh, I lied. I'll, I'll be eating this now. I mean, do you just go for this, or do I want to go for? I mean, you're really strong here. I think I'm supposed to do this. Uh, I think back row is better because if they have Brehen, I'm going to eat it here. It's unlikely they do, though. Holy crap. Yaga is carrying this game. There it is. GG. We s destroyed them. Oh my gosh. What a good game to start today. Stream going, stream going well. Stream going well. I'm having a very bad day, though, in uh, my personal life. So that's, I think, the negative in my time. But the stream itself, the cards are playing, it's all really fun. So, no complaints there. Oh, how wonderful. You speak our tongue. Hmm. I was afraid of other things. Can anyone tell me what Lurk does? It basically means somebody's stepping away from the stream, but they're gonna keep the um stream going. As a way to it doesn't the command doesn't do anything. All it says is you're leaving the stream on so I can have the viewer count, but you're not actually there. That's all it is. Nothing too fancy. Spread out the rows to make rain really inefficient. No Ryogan engraved. Interesting. Because, like, honestly, if there's any card that's good at Ryogan, it's little have for spam. Start for the day. Me too, me too. But life is life. It is what it is, alas. Like, I'll do what I can of what I got. I shall I'll take that. Hmm, is it really this? I didn't know if it was. I didn't think it was, to be honest. It helps me have more viewers, so I'm higher up on the Twitch, so that makes me more seeable. And so that's the idea. That's the idea. Rifflook B, Benefit. How have you been, my friend? How is it going? Give me a little bit of luck. Rat, take a hit, please. Thank you. Someone needs a haircut? I have it scheduled for this Saturday. So I'm looking forward to that. I agree with you. 
I agree with your sentiment. I think this is right. I still want to put it all in the same row, I suppose. That's all. Let me get here. And we keep the punishment coming. If I mute the tab, pin it down. Fair every time, so stupid it works that way. Eventually, there are ways I think Twitch notices Romana, but for short periods of time, they won't. That's all. I forget exactly how it works. Always drop by to see what crazy decks come up with. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Nice, got that out of the way. Imagine that hitting Yaga after a heat wave. That'd be devastating. Also, imagine if we actually let that be the last part of this. Ooh, actually, I don't want this one, John. Do I just play the five here and mushy? I think we, I think you play the five here and you mushy. To avoid potential for eight wave. Oh, not eight wave, yeah, Igni. <coughs> this is just bowling here. I'm having a great time. You get some chocolate after I did, Lockock. Uh, I had a gigantic pint of ice cream. It was great. It was very well timed because I had a very bad evening yesterday. That's a good heat wave target. That's as good as this deck's gonna have because it's a Lippy deck. So I probably will heat wave it, even if I'm missing out on some Selena Harpy value. Again. I love this. And if they have Lippy in hand, they're gonna go minus one here. They greeted. They greeted. Definitely the villain here. Mm-mm. -mm. Got some ice cream. Ice cream and coffin, something like that. Ooh, is that a Dwim tech? I feel a little bad all of a sudden. Like, it's a cool Lippy deck, not just normal Lippy. But against Lippy, you typically need to win round one or you lose the game immediately. So I'm playing very aggressively as a result. You're so mean. Apple cider. I got some apple cider. Normal non-alcoholic. I think it's good even when I'm uh, having a bad day. Be avoiding. Pink. Sorry, friends. You and I both know it must be done. I'll take uh, card advantage, unless this isn't Lippy, it is Lippy, I'll pass. I feel mean. You just, you can't, you can't lose against Lippy round one or you get blood and lose the game. Their point slam so good. Brutal. Uh, their mod's banning left and right. Watch my streamers. Yeah, and I think it's, uh, it's who you attract to your stream that matters a lot there. Oh, I'm gonna just mole until I find Yaga. Heck yeah. Yaga, Yaga's bay. All right, play your lippy. Don't you pester me. Oh, you're not going to play lippy here. Oh, dangerous. I haven't banned anyone yet. Yeah, I don't know if we've banned anyone. Timeouts, why not bans? Did I get a succubus in the grave that entire time? I don't think I did. I'm gonna look probably as value anyways. I don't have succubus in grave. I do want to find the succubus. You probably don't want you. No. So what are you gonna be as backup? I don't know. We're just gonna play Yaga and see what happens, I think. All right, let's do it. I'm going to be so sad if they have rain for the record. I am going for the slow version of this at one point. Could use one armor. I appreciate having an armor. You see him hovering it like, oh no. I go, yes. Catching up. Hustle. Full streamers. No. So I would like one of those to go for the road. i play you. <laughs> casual, casual Yaga, just kind of chilling here. Best drown yourself 
Oh, I guess I could have Rainier Mancy for one of these. I don't really have anything better to do in my deck. Okay. Let's see. I mean, we just keep this at five, right? Heat wave. Succubus. Oh. We're not done if you can still walk. Well, we're good. Everything's fine. All according to plan. I'm just a sexy little cog. Didn't think I threw. Nah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I missed one eat. It doesn't matter. We we got this, we got this game on lockdown. This is the easiest win I've ever seen in my entire life. Ukusa four. You're not playing Lippy? Orkvar, Gergas Yaga. See, all part of the plan. All part of the plan. We're good. Good work, Yaga. Yeah, I appreciate your existence. There we go. Everything is fine. G, G, location coming through hot. So the reason why we should be pretty good against this deck is they do buff a lot of units. Units are way beyond what they're normally supposed to be. So as a result, we can set up some pretty passive openings that are really hard to deal with. Not too worried if they were to kill or lock this to prevent their own shadows because it's very easy to make a second one. Sure. Oh no. That's my tallest unit. Tallest unit is Cave Troll. That seems worthwhile trying to get an early duel look down. It is really important to note here they did not open up with Hawker Smuggler. They rushed an uninteractive opening. When I see that, to me, that always indicates they actually have no interest in this round. Oh, we'll play on back row. We'll break making a bomb. We're not done if you can still walk. I don't think they're running Dole Bump on a Bowman or, Je or Gizrus, Jezrus, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to go ahead and brick it, and it'll, it should be pretty good. There's the Simless. Yeah, this is all Screams carryover. It'll probably Bountiful Harvest. Then you might say, John, this doesn't seem like, this isn't necessarily carryover. And I agree, to an extent. Okay, we got a four and a what? Okay, we got Bowman. Um, so I'm just gonna punish this really quick. First things first. I need to just uh, sacrifice the Marina here. Such a shame. I must kill you. Uh, and we'll click here. The Marina kind of just ends it. If they went first, they would have lost this game. Second, they at least have a shot. Okay, so this indicates to me that they're definitely out of the round at this point. Which kind of makes it very awkward to play Arrakis for. Just kind of how the line of play worked out. We got the Succubus carryover set up. I'm going to guarantee draw Cave Troll. I think I'm just going to give up on the Desert Banshee. The reason I'm going to play a Desert Banshee here is if they decide to play one more card and go to five, sweet. Then I can go Arrakis for eat. If I went this, if I went Arrakis for first, it attempts to pass more easily from them. So now we can go Arrakis for eat very safely. This is, uh, they can either play or pass. They have a couple options here. Let's see. They'll play. Easingrim is getting bolder than I thought. They played very conservatively, and now they're playing kind of recklessly. In my opinion, anyways. I'm a little surprised how this one's shaking up. I think it's, uh, it's a little bold on their part. Yeah, Death Wish cards do I have left in the deck? One, two, three, three-ish. Got to be a little careful here throwing out. Oh, I have four of a Harpy Egg there. Um, Selena or Mushy here? There's also a real argument for... Actually, let's do this. 
Let's see what else to do. I think we can get out of the round just because I have Mushy and Selino in hand. As well as Maruna just sitting here intimidating all your low point plays that you like. Hawker smugglers? Let's see. What if we do bleed all the carryover? Indeed not to. It's very risky too. Catching up with the chat here. So, uh, some Dana. Good to see you here. This should force them out of the round. Because if they keep going, that's it. There's a risk of me playing rot or eating Rotfi and then eating Maruna, whatever it deals damage to. Whatever it deals damage to is stealable, guaranteed. I'll deal five and then there'll be a three, four, and the swing hurts. Okay, cool. We do want a long round against them, which seems normally counterintuitive, but if we're playing a Yaga deck, this is fine. There's the cave troll we got off Dota Loke. We're just gonna mulligan you till we get better stuff. That's pretty darn good. I think you still want to mulligan to get Yagen Haunt. Pass. Normally you bleed hand bleed or hand buff out of every card in their hand if you can. But in this case, we're Yago. We want a long round. I'm gonna be mean. Uh oh some Dana. How am I doing? I'm doing terribly today, to be really blunt. I'm having a very, very bad day. Uh, but that's alright, that's alright. And you know what? We all have some really bad days. And that's why it might be a short stream. It's some personal issues. I have to in my personal life issues. No one's dead, no one's sick, but they're, they got a time for some serious reflecting and thinking. Oh, this hand's very good. Do we have the Succubus carryover? We have a lot of Selena Harpy interactions, and these cards are insane together. Uh, proccing you is an issue, though. What is right now? Or Neuromancy? Neuromancy's Yaga. I do need the Mulligan here for... I think, I think I can ditch the Slizzard. I need to find the Death Wish card. Death Wish or Yaga? There we go. Hope it gets better. Unfortunately, to be honest, Wild Tyranitar, this isn't a thing that gets better, to be honest. Uh, which is really humbling to say. I wish it was, but unfortunately, not. It's not. I mean, I, I'm not in a position where I'm going to say this has a happy ending. Very sorry to hear that. Say that. And front row are back. Oh, let's get front row going. We want to get... So it's going to be something like this. Cave Troll. Egg. And then I'm hoping it's enough for Yaga. Hey, love you to you, Sundana. Big fan of that, big fan of that. We need to get Death Wish up as fast, or, um, this all going as fast as possible. I want to hide the fact that Yaga's coming. Perfect, so then we go Cave Troll, and then I can get you. And you should win the whole game for me. You're good treatments for crabs, don't feel too bad. I can't tell if you're making a crabs, like... Thing that spreads joke or if you're just uh thing like bad mood but it is you know what we all have bad days and by the way black rain saven uh Bla the black raven sam benefit welcome my friend good to see you here what i'm really hoping here is they smack this for making a bomb well it would work but uh what i really want on it Step let us this isn't making a bomb. 19 on front. I can double eat here. Do I need to? No, I can wait a turn, John. Can be patient. I'm just a sexy man. Fucked up machine code life. This is actually kind of nice. It bricks moving this anymore. So you can't make me a bomb your way out. You're just going to get stuck with it. So they're doing... Okay, so they do that to try to prevent the... Nastiness of the Death Wish effect. Let me go ahead and just eat that. Yep. Alright, catch up here. Everyone has bad days. Yeah, so they did that. Out comes Succubus. Good news, it goes on front row of the brick it again. And so you can't move this making a bomb. Bad news, it is doomed. Uh, with that said, I'm not like overly concerned. Oh, we bricked that. Lovely. We are the eyes of Do you want to bleed there for one? Okay. Um, I genuinely don't think they are, have good tall removal here. So I'm going to eat here. I need to eat something. In case they have spores, might as well hide it. Everyone has bad days. Hope you resolve sooner than you think. Me too. I don't. I think this is just gonna be 
it's not a situation that I'm going to resolve. There's no way to really resolve it, so to speak. Okay. I'm watching. Interesting. Okay. That's five. Uh, I think this one's actually pretty easy. Lino. Eat Harpy. Spawn. I'll take advantage of you. Eating him back, bro. Oop. I'm surprised. I'm seeing Skags, Glace. Okay, there's Torque. Fine. I'll give you you I'm assuming last card is Skags. Uh, I don't want this one, John. I don't think I ever packed this row. Yeah, we're good. You leave it in case this is Brehen for some reason. Uh, the only resolve is to make some inner work. I don't even, it's not even inner work. We just have a, it's just a kind of a problem where I just make choices. Uh, the good news is Yaga Loki just casually wins me the whole round by herself. I don't even need to play anything. Good game. Boy, this deck slaps Goyatel in a really real way. Good game. Are you happy it's cider season? Yes, except it's definitely something I don't want to overly indulge on or else I'll get too many stomach aches. There's Raniromancy. Have you seen this card? I don't think we've seen it like in any of our games. Yeah, I think I think Yaga, the buff that Yaga needs is just consume a four provision unit, uh, a four or less provision unit. That's it. So like starts at four and then I could have five and four. Like I could have crushed that round. Really punished. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, devotion effect of that was too strong. Yeah. If you're uh, germ, if you're talking about Yaga and then the ore and making a devotion, yes, I agree with you. Like if it ends up being too strong, to make into that. Make it uh, less consistent. I use Imperial for that. That's kind of a bummer. That really messes up my game plan. And they YOLO'd for that, but that really is a setback here. So I'll play conservatively for now. Yaga? Yes. Cool. I'm just making sure I'm keeping up. I agree if you read. I think if you think. I should play back row, but that's alright. Tactics. That play is still really weird to me. I mean, I guess you. It's really. Five, is it? Yeah, okay. And slave five. And slave five. Normally, I'd be seeing a fire scorpion or something, but. I mean, they must have light makers in hand. This must be what's going on. Big O? Okay. Is, is the Gwent community growing? My guess, Jack, if this is my just honest guess, John taking a shot in the dark, my answer is I think they are growing with the caveat of winter months are less popular, at least winter in Northern Hemisphere, are less popular to play, Gwent, or is less popular to play Gwent during than the summer ones. Kind of makes sense, schooling and such, but I think that's my hypothesis. Just looking at Twitch viewership, and since Twitch viewership is down, I assume that... Really? Come on, don't give him the dildo look. Rude. I just kind of assume like, okay, Twitch viewership is down, then why? There must be a reason. It's because people's time are going away. So I imagine it's kind of the same deal. I've also noticed that my overall views on like YouTube have started going down in a very noticeable way. Now it could be that the Gwent space is heating up their competition again. I would, I would bet it more on... Yeah, they, yeah, YOLO. At least they have units. At least they have units, right? But like, they could, there was a lot of bad hits, and there were a lot of very strong hits there. Wow. If you hit Yaga, I'm going to be a little annoyed, I confess. Like, if you hit the Yaga, I'm going to be like, hmm. That really hurts, for the record. This actually is not going that well for them, right? Because uh, if I just go Heat Wave here... The entire game just changes, right? In a really negative sense. You either pass here. But if they pass here, I can go haunt, eat, whatever. I'll probably eat Cantarella, but eat something here. And all of a sudden, you're in a really weird spot where I have... Okay. Now, I don't think our long round is going to be that good into theirs. Rather, I think I want them on a short round. I'm going to play haunt and just bleed the heck out of them. I want every card out of their hand if I can. Because even if it's... I want to see if I'm forcing Slave out. And make this a bad experience for them. Um, uh, I think being able to play and eat like a Yoakim is going to be more important. I don't think Purify is going to be that good. Nice. 
Marina, Marina is deadly. I love her so much. I agree with you there. So for a Kleiner, and I see you large so for a Kleiner. So don't don't be sad. Don't be sad. Current Gord, yes. I think current current version of Gord is fair. I like it. And you can always adjust the numbers. If you want to see if you want to see more play, it doesn't see any play, you just up it by two or three, whatever the cap is. Okay, so it's fine. Kind of fine. Maruna. It's Maruna. I guess AA. I have to go final one. I think I just go like this. Uh, pretty. Nah, there's no way they would tech treason, but they definitely tech assassinate. Might as well minimize assassinate value. We already know they're teching assassinate because there it is. But th this is a push to be really mean. My hope here is they commit a low point unit to the board. And I could smack down Maruna and just close out the round by going Maruna, eat it, spawn here, eat that. And all of a sudden, hey, I have everything eaten and I have a ton of points. Like Brathens, if it's Brathens, copy Vargas. That'd be weird. Or the, I don't know. Do you do Brathens, copy Vargas? That'd be bold. Then you have to eat your Brathens here, right? It's a 10 point play. Okay, why don't we keep going? This should be in here. Well, maybe not. Is Yaga working now? No, this is the right spot. Five, five, five. Or f five, four, five. This will live in Assassinate. Is Yaga working large so for Kleiner? So far, so good. I wouldn't say it's great. I think the text that's missing is the ability to do or less than the specific number. Which is kind of hurting, but that's all right. Gotcha, gotcha, there we go. Finally. Now I, get, now I got the pass that I'm really looking for. Right. Been waiting for this one. Uh, notice by buffing here and Slave 5 is bricked on everything except the three point rat. Vargas, oh, yes, I think Vargas over Desert Banshee seemed questionable. Okay. Like, there's a lot of bad hits here. You know what? Normally I would pass there, but I do see a line of play where they instantly lose the game because now on back row I definitely have Sabo. So you go Yaga eat here. Can't do that line. Can't do that line. Genvo Vilgaforts is gone. This might be insane. Oh, I made a mistake, John. Made a huge mistake. Um, easy to fix. Easy to fix, I think. Can't fix it. I, my idea was eat, play Yaga, eat the four, and then eat the back row of four to deny and slave value. I do think I win this one just by straight up value. <laughs> you know things have gone poorly when you're killing uh, a desert banshee. If I could eat here I would, but I can't so I'll just pass. We go for a short round. Yep. Your steak star is reflected in the pond in the night sky. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. That felt really good. That felt like I was really bowling this poor player. Good game. That was smooth, guys. Like a baby's bottoms. Yeah. Something like that. Good game. Hand's very good. I might just run this thing. I think his hand's fine. We can set up, we can play a very passive round Desert Banshee, Argrakis, Warren, Succubus. Uh, likewise, if I think they play really greedily as their first card, I can punish them fast. 
Not as greedily as I'm like, do I just come out swing the pot? I think I'm supposed to come out swing. I think I'm supposed to make this a really miserable round for them if I can. Trey Stare. Trey, how are you, my friend? Yaga, yeah, Yaga's a fun one. Maybe I'm regretting my hot play here. Well, we'll see. We're all so mean early on. My hope was to bail out the heat wave, but that's not happening. Double Melusine Draco combo as Nilfgaard. I felt mean. Nice. You know what? It's okay to feel mean in that situation. Eat. Now you're target dominance. You eat. And now we're coming out swinging. So they, they might not have Heat Wave. Let's see what they get though. Because that's a big point differential. That's the reward we get for being cruel here. Wow, okay. I like kind of respect that. I kind of don't. We're just like, all right, I'm done. I want out of the round. Get me out of here, right? But we could double last save of Yaga. Who? Even if you purify the, even if you heat wave the cave troll and purify the Yaga. Not good. I don't think we need much consume here. I think there's a, I think here's the line of play I'm going to like that, Succubus. Good. Selena Harp is what I want. Here's the line of play I'm going to take. Harpy Egg. Mushy Trouble Eat. Get a sp double spawn here. Actually, it's a line. I'm taking a slightly different route. I want to I wanna punish here. That's a greedy play. In, on paper, it looks really normal. But if you play keep Raging Bear, you probably have Mega Scopes in hand. So now, all of a sudden, you have to kind of pivot everything you're doing here. So watch. You're going to see a bunch of Mega Scopes appear here. Oh, uh, there already was one. Nope, maybe not new one. No? Okay, okay. The mushy truffle. Harpy. Play Harpy. Eat. Now I'm set up. I can either keep this as six point carryover, or. And I might keep this. We'll see how this one actually plays out. Igni on 22, which does work. I expected many things. Igni is not one of them, I confess. Well, let me do this. Because we won around one, I can keep going in even. I don't think I'm going to get them to really have a big say here, there. I can definitely make this hurt. Hmm. Gonna go to the office, listen to bus saws and drills while I try and read the Wall Street Journal piece. Hang in there, Gorilla Bill. That sounds like a pretty difficult task you have ahead. <laughs> Interesting. That's a weird play to me. Because that's a really good card. That's like not a small good card. That's like a... Wow, that card's really strong kind of a card. That's also a weird play to me. Now Jonod's much weaker. Is there an Igni deck? Apparently. I don't know what they're doing here, though. Okay. Like, this is a lot of point slam. And obviously, with this hand, I can just get out of the round whenever I feel like it. All right, goodbye, Succubus. We know RP go. We are approaching the point where I do have to acknowledge the fact that, hey, it's a good point gap here. That seems good. Had a good time at their expense. What's the spice I was promising to tell? We got some Yaga going on here, Horde Sound. We got some Yaga kicking. Also, Streamlabs has the lifetime bot now. Should be good. Should be good. Yep. Beautiful. Hmm. 
I don't know if we're gonna get much value off Yagi here. It may actually be a shooter for a succubus. Ooh, interesting. Going what? World? Your hand that bad? So that's just me being mean. I'll be really blunt. That's basically saying, look, something is wrong. Something is really wrong if you're going Coral. Fugasa and the Coral? What did you just use? Scardy Giga Scorpion? Yeah. I've been waiting for this. So Bear Witcher comes out. Oh, it's John on? Are you serious? Okay. What is your hand that makes you so bold here? All right, Kiftal. Have we seen the heat wave yet? No, Igneous heat wave. Okay. Damn it. Guess Yaga's not bailing me out here. I'm a little sad here. When for Bear Witcher, deal three here. At least we can yoink that though. Um, is that enough though? Your opponent, I think you might have got me. I think a five here. I think it's the best I got. And depressing. Close. G G right the hero they're offering. Good game. Close, close, close. Eh, I don't need the harpy yet. Yeah, I like I like this hand. We have the succubus. We have uh, a couple of really aggressive openings we can open with. Play the uh ooh, Rack uh, Desert Banshee might have been correct there instead of Araka. Araka is easier to deal with like instant I wanna go unitless. I mean I can literally just do Maroon uh Maroon and win here. That's probably correct. It's probably something like this. I'll be borrowing one of those. That's an eight point urn. Even if then like they can't kill this. They don't have locks probably. Yes. Yeah, it felt really good. <laughs> it's that Morse just kills Yaga, I know, right? Two base strength, say what? Twenty-five for uh fifty update Scotch minute maker and stop working. I'm so proud of it. Well I'm glad to be proud of it. It's a tough life right now. Keck W been a bit. Welcome, welcome. Fukusa? Sha? Fukusha? Fuku ya? Fukusia? Yeah, who knows? I don't. I don't know. Admit. So this play indicates, hey, you know, I don't really want to play this round, so let's get out of here. We just play nice and conservatively here. Just say, hey, look, you got your carryover. I got my setup. Let's just go to round two. You'll play your passy. I'll play my Yaga, and I'll just win the game. See, that's a weird play. This is a weird play. Why is this weird? Because that's a really dangerous, like, a strong card to be playing here. And so why would you play something like that so late? Yes. Go. Like, this is a lot of provisions. We played very conservatively up to now. We committed one gold, but on blue, you usually need to commit one more gold than your opponent to win the round of your going first. But that Imka is just weird. They have no immediate coin payoff. They already have plenty of coins. Slice the Doctress is terrible. So now I'm just going to pass. Okay, you have seven coins to work with. Okay, you got ship out. Great. I'm out of the round. All you, buddy. Right, so now, now you have like a super awkward moment, right? Like how far do you spend on coins? It's trying to turn off these engines. This is a brick, it's a four. Ukusa? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you go Sea Jackal? Is that enough? One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. Uh yeah. I don't think so. Just lose here? Yeah, Slice of Actress is a very greedy play. Pry, Dom, Yam, Rigadam. Rigadam. Yeah, you lose. Alright, cool. Slice of Actress is a really bad play. Imco is also a very bad play. So now we go plus one, and our hand's actually the nuts. 
Yeah, their mistake was playing Slice of Duckress, Slice of Duckress. There was no point to playing that card. Shield was throw. Uh, Germ also could call out there. Yes, I don't think that was probably a good decision. Um, I have all my feet eating right now, so, eh. There are a lot of bad cards in the deck. We have a lot of good ones, though. As long as it's not Peller, but because I just said it, boom, Peller. Nope, that's a Banshee. Heck yeah. So, like, if they open, my hope is they open Saul. Okay. I was debating very much whether to just go Imperial there immediately, but I, I can take it slow. I don't. I think we'll have a lot of stuff. Love the thingy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, probably on a back row here. Use this to prevent a tavern brawl. But what I'm doing is preventing a couple of uh. Minimizes profit, minimizes points. It's also oh, a matter of preventing Tavern Brawl and Sabbath, 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 Sabbath. Because I do want Yaga to get Sabbath. As long as I buy my third, the last card with Sabbath, I think I'm good. I can eat the, uh, pa- Oh no, Passy these days is much less than I thought it was. Hold on. You're overthinking this, John. Uh, Passy is a four. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, right, she's four now. So I could've gone four, five. Oh well. Each is for Yaga, guarantee hit. It basically says seize it. Yeah, it's gonna be grand. Yeah, I changed my mind. I'm just gonna keep playing this tick, let it do its thing, deny the soul. That card is actually dangerous. Have you seen Melusine? I've seen the Melusine. Not in this uh, deck, but in general. I've seen Melusine. My parents are gonna name me the settle. I'm happy to settle on Pranav. Yeah, large silver glider. Wow, that's a big, that's a big jump. It's a very big jump. Okay, so I see you missed the actual probably probably the card you're actually looking for here. Look at this. Didn't even get to need to use Yaga. Didn't get to. Didn't need to. Good game. Shout out to McRandar, Ahmed Ali, and Pseudoname81 for their generous support on Patreon. Thank you all so much.